Ken Patera just might be the strongest man in the entire world. Thank you for tuning in to another special episode of Tyler Vance Rants. I am your host, Tyler Vance himself. It is August 7th, 1984. Last week on TNT, Chief J. Strongbow was completely dehumanized by the current WWF World Tag Team Champions, Adrian Adonis and Dick Murdoch. While Captain Lou Albano made another appearance on TNT and was a victim of Vince McMahon's lack of journalistic integrity. As well, Cindy Lauper's lack of decorum completely overshadowed Wendy Richter's celebration after party in becoming the new WWF Women's Champion. As we tune into Tuesday Night Titans this week, Vince McMahon and Lord Alfred Hayes are once again the hosts of the show, and the very first guest that they have this week is a man by the name of Ken Patera. Patera has recently returned to the World Wrestling Federation after having served some time in other promotions, namely the AWA, the American Wrestling Association. He is also a former Olympian and Pan American Games competitor, having won gold in the 1971 edition of the Pan Am Games. Knowing all of that, it is unsurprising that Vince McMahon's first question towards Ken Patera focuses solely on the man's Olympic and Pan Am accomplishments. Is that not uh, the record that you still hold? Uh... Was that not, did you not military press over 500 pounds? Yes, Despite this, all Patera is really concerned about is the level of corruption that I myself have been speaking about that is seemingly running rampant across both the WWF and the NWA. I'm going on to say... A lot of them are arrogant, they're obnoxious, they're uh, uh, idiots. Vince then hands Patera a metal rod and asks the strong man to bend it, which he goes on to do easily. We're then treated to a match between Ken Patera, who is accompanied by TNT favorite Captain Lou Albano, taking on Billy Travis. Travis himself was impressive the last time we saw him against Greg the Hammer Valentine, so let's see how he handles himself against someone that's a little bit more powerful. A punch from Patera sends Travis outside of the ring and down onto the floor. Thankfully, Captain Lou Albano is standing nearby and he's nice enough to try to help Billy back into the ring. The Olympian hits a beautiful suplex on Travis once he's back inside the ring, but decides that since he's just recently returned to the WWF, he's going to dish out some more punishment to Billy Travis, as well as demonstrate to the crowd just what Ken Patera is capable of. Billy Travis is then tossed across the ring as if he weighs a mere 20 pounds before Ken Patera polishes his opponent off with an elbow drop. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, Billy Travis weighs in at 225 pounds. Talk about an impressive return to the WWF for Ken Patera. Back in the TNT studio, Lord Alfred Hayes attempts to bend the bar that Ken Patera did just moments earlier, but only ends up embarrassing himself as a result. And, uh... What uh, is a dear Lord oh, doing? Please. Patera then demonstrates some of the different weightlifting techniques that he utilized to become so successful in both the Olympic Games and Pan Am Games. His feats of strength are absolutely amazing. The next phenomenal feat of strength is Ken Patera stopping a moving vehicle with his body strength alone. Ken Patera is going to hold it back with some massive, strong legs. Lord Hayes was going to be the one that was driving the truck that Ken Patera is going to stop. However, Patera took issue with the fact that the British folks over there on the UK islands drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, for any of my British viewers, you heard me. The wrong side of the road. So McMahon is the one that takes over driving reluctantly, but he does so anyways. After getting into position, Patera is able to hold his own as Vince absolutely guns it. This man in Ken Patera is amazing. It's mail time once again, and continuing the trend of the mail being delivered in weird ways, 
This time, the Haiti kid is the one to deliver the bag to Lord Alfred Hayes personally. The first question asked how the fan in question can meet Hulk Hogan intimately. I am five feet eight, 115 pounds. I am considered a very good looking brunette. Very weird, Vince McMahon has no idea how to even begin answering this kind of question. Uh, that's a very good question. I don't <laughs> know that I can necessarily respond to that. Perhaps it's better that you don't, Vince. The second question wants to know when we will be treated to more Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Yes, I agree. I can never get enough of that wonderful stuff. Thankfully for that fan, you, myself, and anybody that has a lick of sense, Vince McMahon promises that we will be seeing more of Paul Orndorff on Tuesday Night Titans soon. The next guest on Tuesday Night Titans is Ace Freeman, who had a 35-year in-ring career, which has now come to an end. However, Freeman has transitioned into the role of promoter, helping expand the WWF in the Northeast United States. Vince McMahon wants to know how Ace feels about the modern take on professional wrestling. And Freeman goes on to say that he is absolutely blown away by the level of skill and intelligence when it comes to the competitors, as opposed to the ones that competed in his day. As if to emphasize this, we're treated to archival footage of Victor Rivera and Tony Marina taking on the Mongols in tag team competition. The match is easily won by the Mongols, who secure the win with a simple pin. And it's no wonder that Ace Freeman thinks the wrestlers of 1984 are more talented, considering that this match had zero to little moves involved besides the pin itself. Remember the Haiti Kid and his delivery of the mail? Well, he's treated to a little bit more dignity and respect as he is the next guest to be interviewed on Tuesday Night Titans. Well, knowing Vince McMahon, I should actually perhaps withhold my dignity and respect comment until the interview is over. The Haiti Kid has had a 14 year career currently and during that time has visited over 70 countries all across the world. And we are then shown footage of a match between him taking on Dana Carpenter. And the match is joined in progress. The Haiti Kid is in complete control until Carpenter bites him in the hand. So the Haiti Kid returns the favor by biting Dana Carpenter right in the behind. I'm sure that tasted just swell. Carpenter then tries to show the referee proof of the Haiti Kid's bite, but before it can be confirmed, the kid then bites the referee in the butt. Showing it to the referee. Oh! Okay, this is getting weird. A monkey flip almost secures the Haiti kid the win. However, he then hangs on to the referee for dear life before stomping on the man's foot for the transgression. How has the Haiti kid not been disqualified yet? A slingshot sends Dana Carpenter into the referee this time, considering he is apparently the third man of the match, so the Haiti kid begins to count to three. And being the idiot that he is, Dana Carpenter thinks that he's won the match. What the hell is going on? An airplane spin into a Samoan drop secures the Haiti Kid an actual win a few moments later. Now that that is over, let's never speak of this again. Tito Santana is the final guest of Tuesday Night Titans this week, and he is led to the stage by a mariachi band, while Lord Alfred Hayes dons a sombrero. <laughs> Instead of Lord Buttkisser, I will now be referring to Lord Alfred Hayes as Lord Cultural Appropriation. According to the WWF Intercontinental Champion, winning the Intercontinental Championship has been the greatest moment in Tito Santana's life up until now. But he does find it very difficult having to defend that championship so often against so many different talented wrestlers. You see, being a champion is both draining physically as well as mentally. 
We're then shown a non-title match between Tito Santana and Rene Goulet, which gets off to an explosive start as Santana hits Goulet with a leapfrog and then a head scissors takedown. A knee to the gut of Tito Santana leads to the Frenchman gaining a temporary advantage, and a suplex following that leads to a two count. Rene Goulet continues to put the hurt on the WWF Intercontinental Champion, even going so far as to apply the claw to Santana's skull in an attempt to crush it. However, Santana is a fighting champion. He breaks out, managing to score a flying forearm win to get the 1-2-3. Back in the TNT studio, we're shown the mariachi band that escorted Santana to the stage, playing some traditional Mexican music. Before the real good stuff is brought out, Mexican food. Enchiladas, tacos, burritos, you name it, it's brought out and it all looks phenomenal. However, to Lord Cultural Appropriation, he says none of it looks particularly appetizing. It doesn't look too appetizing to me. Oh, it's great. Well, it's a little different than your normal okay. English. Uh... This does not surprise me, considering that the British eat as if the Germans are still flying overhead. Beans and toast, anyone? Tuesday Night Titans comes to an end as Vince McMahon, Lord Alfred Cultural Appropriation Hayes, and Tito Santana all toast each other over Sangria, with Vince McMahon wishing the WWF Intercontinental Champion many future victories. Similar to the Polish power Ivan Putski before him, Tito Santana shared a little bit more of his Mexican heritage with us, as well as its cuisine. The Haiti kid delivered the fan mail and embarrassed himself with some footage of a match he had against Dana Carpenter, and Ken Patera demonstrated inhuman feats of strength. It goes without saying that what Ken Patera was able to do at both the Olympics, the Pan Am Games, as well as tonight on Tuesday Night Titans, should not be attempted by just anyone. It takes an incredible amount of training and preparation to be able to pull off these feats of strength. Knowing what Ken Patera did on a physical level is astounding. But what's even more astounding to me is that we will get to see these feats of strength demonstrated upon other competitors in the ring going forward. Thank you for tuning in to another special episode of Tyler Vance Rants. Don't forget to demonstrate your own feat of strength by hitting the bell, liking the video, and hitting the subscribe button so you are always notified of when a new episode is released. You can also work out your mental strength as well by following me on social media and checking out the fun wrestling stuff that I have for you to see there. I'd also love it if you'd share the video with your family and friends. That's it for me for now. So long. Ken Patera just might be, ooh, my voice cracked. I might be a real boy, decides to show off what he has capable as capable of, yeah, that makes sense. He will be able to demonstrate these physical feats of strength upon other people, upon, what the hell was that?